Welcome to 5 Minute Friday, everybody, where we share our best tips and tricks to help you get just a little bit better every week. And this week, we're talking six chat GPT prompts for project managers. Six. Six. You you told me five. I and, went above and beyond, sir. And you came in with one more. I came in with one more. You I over, have six. You over here. Because I used chat GPT. <laughs> <laughs> and it gave me 40. <laughs> and it gave me 50. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So, guys, I mean, I don't know if you've heard about this whole device, ChatGPT. If you've been around or been under a rock, I don't know. Uh, everybody's using it. It's all the rage. Da 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 da. Fun, fun, fun. But, like, seriously, how can this help us in our day to day? And those are the sorts of things that I've really been trying to dial in on, especially over like the past couple of weeks. Like, how can I really leverage this? And so I've got some insights. I've got about six different prompts that you can throw at it that hopefully will help you and actually uh, improve your efficiency. You know? Yeah, up your game. Up your game. Yeah, you came in this morning throwing down, Eddie, I'm using AI. I'm, I'm using AI. AI. All right, let's hear it, man. Okay, all right. How do cool. I use AI? All right, sweet. So, Eddie, you've written an email or two, yeah? Today? Yeah. <laughs> In the last hour and a half? Yes. And I know that you and I often will throw an email over at each other and be like, hey, proof this for me. Make sure I don't sound like a jerk. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, will it read it for tone? It will read it for tone. Wow. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So you can ask it, hey, rewrite this for me. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty easy to just say, rewrite this for me and then put it in quotes, whatever you're trying to say, put that whole email in quotes and just say, rewrite this for me. And you can even, least, you can say, make it friendlier. Make it, make it funnier. Make yeah. it this, make it that. Make it a little, you know, easy. play with it a little bit. For me, I'm a pretty slow writer. This speeds up the process so stinking much because I get bogged down in like, oh, well, what am I going to say here? What am I going to say there? The rewrite this function is super, super helpful. Yeah. I might send this as a Christmas present to some people. What? What do you mean you're going to send it to a Christmas so present? So it could make their email a little less snarky. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather be on the receiving end of this. <laughs> you just need to set it up as like a, yeah, yeah, as an autoresponder. <laughs> I need I to. Love it. I need to. Anytime right. they do in all caps, you just send it back to yeah, yeah, the yeah. chat GPT link. Just be like, here you go, bud. No, nah, not like that. You need to use this. The next one's going to be like four paragraphs long yeah. and just nonsense. <laughs> yeah, so you do need to control it a little bit. I will say that, but it at least kind of gives you a starting point. Uh, that leads into number two. Yeah, what you got? Summarize. Have you played with that yet? No. Okay, so let's say you get a big old PDF, a big binder of all sorts of information, two, three pages long, right? Yeah. Not quite a binder, but you get what I'm saying. Something that's pretty long and it's pretty hard to parse. So we can easily do a copy and paste into chat GPT and just say, summarize this for me. Sum it up. Sum it up. Give me the high level look. And it'll go in and it'll look at the text and say, okay, here's what you need to know. You can also do this in Notion too. Uh, Notion is an app that I've been using a ton. Yeah, so, there are other AI apps. Right, yeah. Notion's been integrating this too. Uh, word on ChatGPT as well, guys. When you're doing research, note that the model only goes up to 2021. So it's not current. It is not current. If you are doing research, I would actually recommend you look at Bing. Mm, Bing yeah, AI okay. is actually a pretty solid one to use. It will actually leverage all of the, basically the search engine results. Yeah. Basically, it'll pull all that stuff, and then it'll also cite its sources too, which is super helpful. Things I never thought I'd hear, hear come Chat, out of your mouth. <laughs> what? Use Bing. Yeah, use Bing. I know, <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. So uh, definitely a good one to look at. But yeah, summarize this. That's a, that's a helpful one too. Uh, number three, team agendas, meeting agendas. Okay. I saw this the other day. So I went up to a board meeting uh, for ABC, and I'm like, I'm not part of the board. For the record, I'm not part of that board. Uh, they they would not have me. I know this, but they had their meeting minutes, and like they're like, all right, from here to here, we're talking about this, we're talking about that. So if if that's kind of your thing, and you do that a lot of times, you can actually get ChatGPT to break it down for you pretty stinking quickly. So you say, all right, I need a you know just a breakdown of our meeting agenda for this. You could also even ask it to do specific methodologies for you. Mm. So let's say we're doing a meeting and I want you to use lean methodology. And it'll break that down for you. Nice. Yeah. So it'll like break it down to pool planning, all of these different things. 
that's pretty cool. You copy and paste that, and then you can print all that stuff out too. I want to try that. Yeah, so there you go. And again, guys, you might need to tweak some of this stuff, but at least it gets you going. It gets you going, right? I mean, number four, this is a five-minute Friday, man. Come on, Number four, all right. Fast, guys. All right, daily reports. Everybody loves a daily report, right? Superintendents have to do daily reports all the time. Shout out to James Bennett, who was talking about doing daily reports. This, I, this was something I had no idea that you had to do. Yeah. If you're on site, this is something you see. You want to speed that up? Maybe you can use chat GPT for that, right? Let's say you're typing out really quick, just little, little notes, this, that, and the other, but you don't want it to be like a scattered mess. Maybe you've been catching some flack and be like, dude, you need to clean this up. Chat GPT might be able to help you. Clean it up. Yeah. You can even expand it too. So if you're like, <laughs> kind of like uh Make sense of that. Right. Like, yeah. you know, you're told to make a, a thousand word essay or something like that. You can totally get chat GPT to just throw in the flower it up. Fl- yeah. yeah. They, can, <laughs> they can embellish to its heart's content. And verily, verily, I say unto thee. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Precisely. It will expand on it very quickly, uh, very okay. easily. Yeah. So if you're doing daily reports, maybe this could be something that'd be helpful. Um, it won't put it in a PDF. It won't fill everything out for you. But especially if you just, for me, I get bogged down in writing. This is something that gets me unblocked. Super helpful. Sure. All right. Next one. Um, can be a really good brainstorming buddy. I am a creative and like, that's what I do every day. It's creating cool ideas and stuff for construction, for construction companies, all that stuff. It gets difficult sometimes to brainstorm. You're like, where do I go? What do I do? Sometimes throwing in a prompt like, Hey, I need you to rewrite the entire script of Wayne's world, but make it Shakespearean. It'll do it. It'll do it. (laughs) And for some reason, it'll do it. Or if you have a, an existing idea or something, throwing that on there and just throwing a little twist on it and say, put it in the tone of the comedian Kevin Hart. Yeah. And it'll do it for you. It will unblock you and make you think of other things. I came up with 15 different ideas this past week, and it was all because I was prompting it. Now, it wasn't necessarily that ChatGPT just spit out the perfect result. That's not it. It just gave me the nugget of an idea, and I was able to kind of expand on that and create something really cool. Nice. Right? Let's move. Okay. (laughs) I'm breathing hard, guys. All right. So that was number five. Number six is really cool. Time blocking. Mm -hmm. You've heard of this, yeah? Putting time blocks on your calendar. Yes. Right? Saying 15 minutes to call so-and-so. Right. So on and so forth. A lot of times I will have just like a really long task list and I'm like, oh my gosh, how am I going to fit this into the day? So if you need some help, just kind of digesting it, getting it organized, you can put all of those tasks into chat GPT and say, hey, time block this for me. So bullet them in Mm -hmm. and then let it rip. Yep. And And it'll efficiently block. Yes. It'll spit it out like nine to nine 15, you're supposed to call so-and-so nine 15 to 10 you are going to be working on this. And you can actually ask it to batch things together for you too. So if you have email as a common thing, email so-and-so, email blah, blah, like that's right. It'll Answer pull this those message. Down. It will pull all those things together for you. Yeah, that's cool. And put them in a nice little batch. Good so ones. there you go. <sighs> Dude. Good job. Holy cow, I need more coffee after that. This one. is a meaty five minute. That's like a lot. It. Yeah. Guys, I want credit. All right, I, my, my mouth actually hurts. You know what, though? What? I don't give you credit because ChatGPT came up with it every not, second one of it these. It did not. It did not. It was my own freaking research, sir. I only got maybe like two of these from ChatGPT. Yeah, right. Maybe that. And the name might have come from ChatGPT, too. All right, everybody. That's it. Y'all have a good weekend. Go build something awesome.